Welcome, in front of me is a Samsung Galaxy A21s and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification. Now before we get started, we will need uh, two things. Number one is a connection to internet and number two is a SIM card with a pin on it. So uh, my SIM card is already inserted as you can see right over here, there it is. So you don't want to actually at the moment place it all the way in, just have it ready. And you'll also need well, one of these to eject it. So from here we want to go to the setup as you would normally do, uh, skipping majority of the things that you can, getting to the place where the uh, phone is telling you to verify the account. So let me connect to Wi-Fi quickly. So let's go further. So as you can see, we can verify it either using a pen or Google account. Now you want to go to the Google account. From here, tap on a field and go to the settings. You can see the gear icon right here. And from here, we're gonna type in swipe, touch, and feedback, and then touch feedback, and tap on the blue text right here, sound and vibration. Uh, choose ringtone right here, and select SIM1. Tap on the plus button, search. And from here, we're gonna start the bypass, basically. So this might take you a couple tries. Um, but basically what you want to do is spam the uh, microphone button. Now let me mute it so we don't get overloaded with the sounds of it, it coming, basically turning on and off. So as you will see, when you press it, it pops up and yeah, we're doing it quite slow, right? So what you want to do is just literally spam it uh, to oblivion. And once the phone start, stops reacting and doesn't really pop up anything anymore, just insert the uh, SIM card fully in and then keep spamming it. So, and there we go, we can see it stopped, inserted, and keep on spamming it till it shows us the lock screen. There we go. Now give a moment, it has a little bit to process at the moment. Um, it literally got spammed. Um, with basically speech recognition. So from here you can see there's a lock screen. Let's put our pen in. And you should be on the lock screen. Now, if you didn't press it not enough times, basically, uh, the phone will catch up and unlock the device automatically once you put in the pen. So you'll have to repeat it and just try to spam it a little bit more. So it actually needs a lot of time to process it. So from here, what you want to do is you have the lock icon right here and the time. I'm going to swipe the time to the right while swiping the lock to the bottom. So as you will see, not like that. There we go. Now the phone will be a little bit jittery. Uh, that's because it's still trying to process all the inputs that we have put in there. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. So from here, tap on the devices button and give it a moment. There's a fairly high chance that this will take a minute or so. Now this moment, once you tap on the devices, your screen might be black, it might show the wallpaper, whichever case it may be, uh, just keep on waiting. The phone, like I said, has a little bit to catch up on. And once it does, uh, it will open it up. So from here, let's tap on done. And then click on that flower icon. Not really sure how to describe it. Next to the three dots. From 
from here once it actually shows you something you know on the top one I have read and agreed and then I agreed to terms and this will open up the uh, store the galaxy store now there's a chance that you might need to update the galaxy store if that is the case just simply go through an update and repeat the steps to get it back in here so you would have to I believe it drops you back uh, before we begin the begin the process so you again need to start tapping on the speech or the microphone and then insert the card and basically to get back here and once you do the second time around after the update you will be presented with this uh, page right here so what you want to do now is tap on the search and from here uh, type in Samsung internet there we go Samsung internet browser and from here you want to download it so tap on the download button and give it some time to actually finish downloading it And as you can see, it's finished downloading and automatically installed it. So from here, tap on the play button and this will open up the browser. And let's agree and continue. Um, let's continue. And now you wanna tap on the search bar and type in hard reset that info. And let's go. From here, tap on the three bars, go to the download category, and then in the download search field, you want to type in Apex. And let's search for it. Let's go to the download, scroll down, and this time around, you want to hold the download link. It will pop up a window, and from here, we want to open it in secret mode I guess and start now normally this is called incognito uh, and the reason why we're doing it is sometimes there is a problem with the download where it never wants to finish it gets to a hundred percent and never completes uh, opening it in incognito uh, seems to solve the problem uh, from here let's just download it um, download And from here, we have to, again, reopen this. Now let's look for the download. downloads and let's install it so once you tap on install we need to allow from the source go back and install and open it up let's continue okay and it should be now in the app so from here for some reason I closed it so let's redo that again So let's go into the settings now. And there we go, settings. And give me a second, I'm having a little bit of a problem here with my phone.
So okay, from the settings, we're gonna go to biometrics and security, other security settings. And from here, scroll down to pin windows. You wanna enable this, uh, then enable the own at the bottom to use, uh, to lock the device. And from here, we're gonna go with something like a pattern. Now, before we began the process, there was a pin as a way of unlocking the device. Um, so we're gonna change it to pattern, Let's continue, confirm, And from here we can go back and simply let's hold the power key, restart, restart. Okay, so from here, once the device is back on, let's put our pin for the SIM card. Let's unlock it. Confirm the pattern that we have set. And what you wanna do is simply go to the setup process of the device. Now this time around, once we get to the uh, unlocking method, that'd be the, uh, well, now it's gonna be the pattern or a Google account. We can simply use the pattern that we have set to unlock the device. As you can see, there's the pattern. So let's confirm the pattern. And the device is now unlocked. As you can see, we can now sign in or skip this, which I'm gonna skip. And we're almost done. <laughs> and there we go. So as you can see, we now finished the setup without any verification apart from the, pa uh, the pattern that we have set. And yeah, the device is now unlocked. Now it is advised that that you go and perform a reset of the device once more uh, through settings. So once you go to the settings, you would go to uh, ad uh, advanced features, I believe. Let's see. Nope, it looks like it's not here. So oh, general management right here and reset. And then factory data reset. So once you go here, you simply perform another reset of the device and this time around it will remove literally everything from the device that including the previous accounts that were blocking us. That is just uh, as a additional measure in case there is still some kind of leftover from the previous account. Um, but that is how you would bypass the Google verification and if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.